I'm going to start embarking on a huge project and the project is to try and repaint this window. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. All this white grey is basically delaminated and over there you can see there's a part that's not that's still sticking and then even here up 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 all the way it's delaminating here in the corners is there's, there's a lot that's still there i hope you can see the stuff i will need to see so here it's fine and then over here it starts to delaminate again and this whole section here is not laminated at all okay so and the big issue is um, I did the first windows under like that roof window over there that I've done in Turkey under warranty that replaced everything I did that window also in Turkey um, on a separate occasion and the warranty paid out in full and then I did the front window here this one here so I did that window repeat that and also the the two on that side we did that in um, at in Fort Lauderdale at Just Catamarans and the price was was too high so I still managed to push it through but um, Leopard just decided to pay 50% of the windows repairing because the price was too high and then I did these I did the side windows this side and the other side we did that also in just cuts uh, almost like a year later and the warranty didn't want to pay out because the cost was too high so <coughs> and it is very high for those windows per window five thousand dollars i don't have that money and it basically depleted our budget for traveling around the world and at this moment we need to start looking at um, chartering so that's what we are planning to do so now <laughs> these two big windows here front I also need rebedding and guess who's going to do that <laughs> so Pietro and I we will try and do that ourselves I'll do most of the preparations we planned it through I think we have a plan and <coughs> we will need to execute it I bought this lumber basically I don't know what it's 10 millimeters <laughs> according to me and a little bit wide I bought a lot of lumber in Fort Lauderdale I've got my brushless Makita saw that we're going to use and also a brushless drill I got a sharpie here and then a bunch of wooden screws that I never used since Cape Town so <laughs> I'm going to I think I'm going to use it now since the wind is blowing that direction I will do all the the saw over here so that all the wood stuff will fly into the sea yes wood is biodegradable so it's fine We bought this just for this in mind, I'm sure. Don't tell Pietro. <laughs> I'm not sure this is. <laughs> this looks very crooked. <laughs> so this tool is one of those multi-purpose tools. It's just a vibrating blade, so it doesn't go around. And guess where we are? <laughs> fixing the windows 
at the beautiful beaches of Bahamas with the blue blue water and so Georgetown is somewhere over there this is Stocking Island and this is oh, you can see maybe you can if I hold very still we can maybe zoom in there's some oh, I don't know not a million maybe 200 boats in that vicinity over there but yeah I'm here fixing or try to rebuild the windows fixing boats exotic places I got all the lengths now right I got some of the mark which is special and the right shapes I hope even this little slants here I hope it's going to work out but that's it I think first now it's time for party so we're going to go that way somewhere there it's going to be a guy or a band playing music on top of a houseboat and all the dinghies are invited it's going to be fun we've got a drink Pietro sitting there and this is the show all the number is cut I got my little blocks and this square not like that but like this it's going to go onto the windows like one two squares or rectangles uh, I need to use these as the corner corners and see how that works so that should make up a nice rectangle hopefully let's see so we're using the flat surface of Sisu's forward bows what is this? The, the we, yeah we're now on a water locker and we normally put the, the lines in here so mooring lines and water locker it's a very flat surface so the idea is, is that the bottom of of this rectangle will be flat as possible right so i start with drilling just hold your finger that i can go through the nail no so i'm just going to do the first pilot once so they good Hold it just like that and move. There you go. It's much easier if Pietro holds <laughs> for a while. So that we have the initial frame. And then you can go on with your duties. We often go through the boat and we think we need to get rid of stuff that we haven't used like for two years or three years. And Frick almost threw these screws out the other day. Because who would think you're going to need wood screws on a fiberglass boat? <laughs> but they come in handy today. <laughs> and this window is like a huge mountain in front of me. The taking out and the putting back. Because you have to work quick with a Sika Flex and there's just the two of us and I've got no idea. I assume this is going to be extremely heavy. <laughs> so over and above the fact that it's heavy, to keep it in place and to, to square it up properly, mm, sleepless nights. <laughs> Guess who's going to get a lot of shouting and screaming. <laughs> wow. Not me. <laughs> okay, now that I got a pilot in on every corner so it's pretty much stable the flat surface is all onto the deck Pietro can go 
she can do her own jobs again and now all I need to do is drill, drill the pilot holes, all the pilot holes and then change to the bit and then put the rest of the screws in Got it to frame is made and there's no, no wobble. All of the corners is pressing every equal pressure and so it is designed to fit that window over here. So this these frames are designed to fit that window over there just on basically on the rims of the, the weather guard just outside. The frame is designed to stand like that, just just above the frame, the weather guard. That's where the most of the Sika flex is going to be. So we want the pressure there. There is two, so I can use both of them on this side. So one will be on this side, and another one will be on that side. And then I got these things, so now I need to figure out how to is they going to be braced from here to there and then I, I need now to figure out the length of this braces to get the pressure right so <laughs> let's see how that goes and I think the rig is up <laughs> it's going to be our view for the next few days um, I've got like just like a swivel screw that I put in so I braced it as much as possible, drill a hole and put a bolt in on that side. I also have just like a swivel bolt, which actually means this square can will adjust until all both sides is against this weather strip over here and the weather strip over there. So it's now measured to actually press this window against the against the weather strip with this tension here so yeah so hopefully this will work so if we put the sika flex now um on that side and if we if we put the window against it will be a bit a little bit more this way and we need to squeeze the sika flex in and not too much onto the weather strip or that we get into the window sill on the inside and yeah so i think the jigs are up <laughs> this is a lot of work so they've, the pressure point is up there and down there and of course the windows it's a pressure point is against the window oh and i marked all of them so each one of them is marked so, and it's marked on the only on one side so that we know this for example this one shouldn't be flipped upside down it should be like this then everything will be will be measured properly so well i think it can be on both sides but <laughs> let us just do it all on one side so it's only marked on one side it's not marked on that side for example okay, so i marked the windows where the the two frames is going to be and also i've got little wedges and i mark them as well and here's the little wedges so this is a little wedge to put up this is number five so number five will fit in here and it will go up to all that mark into the ceiling and then i know that is the right distance to and pressure for this specific point okay so this is a little uh, little wedges that we will put in all of them is here and also the spacers or the shims everything is ready there's the struts and this is a spear <laughs> one important notice that i think i is very important if the sea is a little bit unstable 
the boat will also flex and then the window will flex or the, the, the boat will flex and the window will not and then a sicker flex around the window might not set properly. So we're here in a bay, um, not many boats here, I think they call it Ruins Bay, there's supposed to be a marina or something there, we've got a nice sunset, but yeah overall we've got protection almost from every direction and we also waited uh, the wind is coming out from there we we waited for the wind to actually come this way and then tomorrow it will be fluffing around there and for two days there will be no no wind and now it's time to go and enjoy the sunset so that's going to be nice let me go some get some rum i'm going to use this the seizing wire, basically stainless steel wire, to thread it through here and then use that to cut all along the rim. And so I thread it through, Ooh, <laughs> I'm not sure you can see that, but it's going through there. And I'm going to be on the outside and Petra is an inside and we're going to saw through. I wear my just cuts. <laughs> Lawrence gonna love you. <laughs> so that I'm I'm looking professional and hopefully it will wrap off and I'll do a professional job. <laughs> Are you can see fit. Sheesh, the whole thing is loose, 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 loose. Okay, here gonna here. Here we're going to start working very hard. Okay, cool. It's going faster than I thought. Is that a braided line? Yeah, anything like a guitar cool. string or... Oh, that would work excellently. Guitar string would be perfect. Yeah. That's it. Up track with your heart. track that is up. That's it. And we're going to shorter make it. So... A big pool. Guys, oh, oh, you're free. We're free. All right, just hold on. Hold on. Want to bring it about three inches towards me? Oh, it's just past me as well. <laughs> okay. 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 Set it I've got it on this end. Okay. okay. I got it. Okay. I got it. Okay, if she can move out we, of the way, my honey needs to move out of the way. Yeah, take those off. off. It's not that heavy enough. It's heavy enough. <laughs> well, I'm sitting nice here. Yeah. Exactly. Alright. Okay, tilt it over. Oh. Flip it over. You want to go this way with it? Yeah. Anna, Anna, can you grab that in? Because I'm reversed hand. Thank you. Alright, I got it in. Okay. Okay. There we are. We're golden. Look at that! That wasn't so bad. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, the weirdest trip is um... Yeah, look at this. Okay, the window is out. Oh, here's Pietro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I kind of like this yeah. open air and this is, <laughs> this is the reason the <laughs> primer is, is flaking off. Yeah. Um, I don't want that to Okay. I should have oh, made this gap on earlier. There's one, two, three. Here's another gasket here. There's three. Okay, so we put a piece of a sail here, it's not perfect, but we tight it all around, otherwise all this black primer paint is coming in all over. This is nice, look at this, just everywhere, you see this black primer. <laughs> And that is the biggest problem of these windows. It's not the windows, it's not the Sika Flex, it's a primer paint that is the problem. If you check here, just, just check, the primer is actually just coming off. And the reason why this is happening, this window is expanding, like now the sun is on it, so it's expanding, and as it's expanding, this is not expanding, and when it's cold, the window is contracting and this don't contract so um, yeah, it's just like 
very easy to clean the window actually. Just <laughs> take off the primer. Just by doing this. Now all of this black stuff is blowing into Pietro's place. So let us yes. close this door. Before I start cleaning here, something to note. Yes, the weather strip. So the weather strip is it's right below the windowsill. And then they've got one in the middle and then one at the bottom. And in between they build these these walls or sikaflex and when it's flat it actually meant the window was touching there like here you can see the primer is still attached the sikaflex is still attached to the primer but the primer just came loose so it's not the sikaflex it's not the window it is the primer so yeah and over here you can see the factory did not Put enough sicker flex so it didn't attach there it attached over here as well no attachment yeah it looks much better and we also removed most of the the paint or they call it the primer paint not everything could be removed like a couple of places where it's stuck quite hard it was just like all over the place like that but like over here it came off very very smooth very easy and now I'm going to use my thingy to scuff it up a little bit and I will scuff maybe here as well so that the sicker flakes can stick. Okay, so the everything is removed from the window. Scuffing is done. It looks horrible. Oh, there's some <laughs> doinks. And now it's time for the weather strip. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to look like a pro. Hopefully it will come out as a like a pro. No Jeep T shirt, just get them a reins. Because yeah. they did a good job, so let's hope we can match it. Yeah, it, it smeared off. It was <laughs> it contagious. It rubbed off. Oh rubbed off. <laughs> so we have the weather strip up. And we've got one in the middle, the outside one I'll show you now, and then I've got my spacers. <laughs> it's just just a piece of wire, thick wire, that is exactly the spacer. So, and I've got the spacers there as well. So, so this is the inside, the inside weather strip, so it's as close as possible to the to the window sill and then the outside one is here so I put the outside one on the outside of the window so it will be flash and now water can actually get in hopefully not too far mm. so we've got this type here and the plan is to sicker flex this make it black and remove this this type here so <laughs> while that is happening at the same time we're going to make a very th very thick and high actually the big thing is to make a high beat higher than the the weather strip so the beat is going to come around here and also in the middle of the year and just here so kind of like a pyramid mountain strip of caulking there and a piece of caulking there and in the outside weather strip which is on the window will come in here so the caulking will be between the, th the three weather strips here and the same on this side also two weather strips and uh, two caulking and one weather strip 
which is on the side of the window. So there's the outside. Let's hope there's no jet skis or <laughs> big boats coming through here at a high speed so that we have at least a couple of, I would say 24 hours to 48 hours. That will be a bonus to set the caulking. And then it will be six days after that. Let's so see. So this is now what we've done so far. And here at the bottom, two beads going down and it is higher than the the weather strip. So all the way around. And this is now the race against time because we're also making this not primer but Sikaflex as the background or as the what do you call that thing again? Blackout? Background, yeah, yeah. But somebody someone used a nice word like Artistic, cosmetic, cosmetic, right? Ask, uh, uh, no. Now aesthetic, I'm struggling. Aesthetic. aesthetic, yeah. <laughs> aesthetic. Work. So, peered through, and Phyllis is working on that side. And look at that perfect job they're hmm. doing. And Tom and Anna, oh, <laughs> you guys are in the sun. You need to get that way. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You guys have been here all morning. No! <laughs> Yeah, we're, so, just last, we're just the last moving. Half hour. Yeah, so <laughs> those guys helped us take us out and that was a job on its own. And this is Dave. You cannot see his face because he doesn't want to see. <laughs> so you only okay see a profile. <laughs> and we're all better off there. But yeah, so we are good here. Almost done on that one. Okay, okay, so you understand what we're going to do? Yeah, yeah, we need to get it up vertical. We yeah. need to keep it away from the wall until we're ready to press it in. Yeah. I've got that. Yeah. Um, so we're going to put that top against here. Okay. As, uh, the moment it gets close there. Okay. Then we slide it up. Then we slide it like, like this. But we keep it away from the wall. The, yeah. The wall yeah. So the moment it right. slips like this, we yeah. like okay. this, we keep it like that. Right. So let's, I'm thinking we're going to get it in here and then pivot up. Yes. Okay. So cool. Do you want and then, and then it if down? it's up there, we put it onto these things. Okay. And we those... move it. We move it in here. Okay. And then we can start let it touch right. Sigaflex. Yeah, right. I can help. We so, can help get it over if you want to stand down yeah, to your that's what I'm position. Going to do. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, you just coach me on where you want me to move it, how you want me to move it, and we'll do that. Oh God, this okay. is nerve wracking. You got it. Ooh. Do you want someone down? So the now you've got to tilt it forwards to the okay, top. Now. Yeah. I think in top has to be forward. Top forward. Ah. I've got a door handle in the way here. We got to go down towards Frick a little. Okay. Okay. okay, we're good. Okay. So we're able to flip. Okay, it. we've got to pull the bottom out. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can pull you, your bottom out. Okay, then we're back against yeah. this. Yeah. Can't push it to me. Pushing towards you. Okay. Inside. Push it in. Inside. Taking that tape on the top off. You can push it in. That's fine. We're in. So these things, we just put it in at the numbers. And it's a line. So just put it till it reaches the, the ceiling. The line. It has numbers. Three on that side. Four over here. Okay, that's good. Three. Okay. Alright. Okay, now this is fine. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any more paper towels? Out? And this one comes this side, so we will start with this one. Okay. On that blue square, just like that. While you get the screws in? Yeah. Okay. You, you already have a pre drilled hole there? Yeah. How much pressure are you trying to put on the window? Is it just holding it? Yeah, just holding it. All right, good. How does this work? Yep. Okay, well that's got to go up down there, right? Took it out, now it's the goodness. genie has to go back in the bottle. Right. Yeah, it's very difficult to get the genie back. <laughs> Listen, your your frame against the window is entirely skewed. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to bring You're it down on the right and up on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. 
call it. So you want to be on the. Let me go a little bit this way because you want to be on the tape, right? Yeah. So that one goes in here. Okay. Then that thing will stop it. Okay. Um, okay. Another sunset. Pretty calm. And this is exactly what we want for our <laughs> windows. So everything is set. We're still busy cleaning up all these black stuff. Petrus using the vacuum cleaner for that. But yeah, I think it looks not too bad. Everything is set. All the shims is there. The color came out quite nice. The corners came out nice. Well, what we can see. So for another six days, this is going to be like this. We are here at, I think, uh, if you can see, there's chat and chill over there. So, some of the boats are already leaving. We're also getting ready to leave. And it's a very cold, miserable Bahamas. But look at this. So, we haven't cleaned it yet because it's no use. We're going to go into a, <coughs> a, a very long passage, maybe five to six days. And it didn't come out too bad. But, but I did see we are running over running here. Oh, yeah, you can see now. So the black and flex is over there. So we have a little bit of a gap, and I think it is because I put spacers here so that there's space for the window to expand this way as well. The factory actually had the window right against the side here. So. <coughs> I think that little space there moved it a little bit that way. On this side, you can see the. Oh, let me see if you can see. Yeah. Um, you can see maybe a little bit high, but that one doesn't have the same. So the black here is moved more to that side. <coughs> here at the bottom. Yeah, so uh, we can see the weather strip there. And this is where the blackened port started. Hmm. Now we couldn't see that before the time, I think. But it looks overall looks good. Window does need a wash. But we will do that after the the passage. And we are on our way to Port Puerto Rico, I think. But let's see. Look at that boat. He's moving fast.